Sugar Plus Spice. My name is Alexa, also known as Sugar. So I've been getting a lot of questions in my DMs, in my inbox. How did you start modeling? Um, how do I get into modeling? What are some things that you suggest for me in the plus size industry? So I'm going to be starting off with just three tips for now about a few things that I think would really help you get your career going. So tip number one. That would be get good photos. It's really important that you get different kinds of photos that truly show your attributes that make you beautiful. Also, you wanna get different photos that will be appealing to the eye of an agency or appealing to in the eye of a company that you potentially wanna work with. Number two, the best thing to do is do your research. I actually was advised to do my research when I originally started modeling by a model who has already been in the industry for a really long time. And she told me, you need to know who's involved, who, what, when, where, why, right? Who are the models? What are the companies? What are the agencies? What are they looking for? Um, and that's exactly what I did. It's exactly what I did. My research tool was Instagram. Instagram was my go-to. I looked at the different models. I figured out what they were doing, what they were shooting, the brands that they were working with, the looks that they were going for, um, and just the different personas that were out there. And it really helped me identify what I want to do and what my voice and my uh, personality is going to be in the industry. It also helped me to really figure out my goals and what's really my competition, who are the girls standing next to me. But don't get too caught up in the whole concept of competing with another girl because you are yourself. If a client or an agency likes you, it doesn't matter what anyone else looks like because you are different. You can be a blonde. I can, I can be standing next to another beautiful plus size model who is blonde and blue eyed and the same measurements as me, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because I am me and she is who she is. So don't get too caught up in that. The reason you wanna do your research about what other people are doing, what other people are getting involved in is to really help you focus your goals on what you want out of modeling and to really see what else is out there so you can make those goals. So tip number three, ask questions. This industry is very small, so if you get the opportunity to ask questions to those who are involved in the industry, definitely do so. You wanna go deeper than the research that you find on Instagram or Facebook or other different social media sites. You wanna really pick the brains of the girls um, or the agencies or the brands that are already involved so you can learn even more. The only downfall about that is not everybody's gonna wanna spill the beans. Not everybody's gonna wanna tell you all of their secrets on how they got to where they are because they worked so hard to get to where they are. <laughs> and if they shared that with everybody, you know, it would make the industry even a little bit harder. So don't be too worried about the industry and it being a competition. Though it is a competition, still ask questions. Still try to get as much information as you can and don't be discouraged. for watching this was just my intro preview little snippet of the little tips that I wanted to give you guys today I may be giving out more tips in the future as I continue in my modeling career and I may have more to offer you but as of right now those are the top three so thanks again for watching please subscribe and follow me below